Welcome to Liminal Lent. Today's text is from John. We are in the New Testament. Uh, John chapter 14, verses 28 through 31. Now, they're kind of a weird little section of verses because usually we, in John 14, we read the Jesus is the way to the Father, the very beginning of this. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the resurrection. Um, no one comes to the Father except through me. We do not know the way. And Jesus is like, I know the way. I'm going to come to you and I'm going to bring you to me. So Jesus is telling us that he's doing these things so that, well, to defeat sin power, the de power of sin, death, and the devil over us. But so that when we do die, we don't need to know the way. God comes to us and brings us to himself. Um, that last journey. And then there's a promise of the Holy Spirit in this, this last discourse. And then it's just like, you've said, I'm, you've heard me say these things, I'm gonna go away and I'm coming to you. And now I've told you this before it occurs so that when it does occur, you can believe. Um, it's really interesting that despite that, when these things happen, we struggle, don't we? We struggle believing. That's one thing about this liminal season. And I know we're now kind of in, what is it? Um, week four-ish here. And we're tired of liminal. And yet we've been in liminal for a long time. We're tired of ambiguity. We're tired of the season where something has ended. Like Jesus is like, I'm no longer going to be with you. And yet the new thing hasn't yet right come. And he's saying, I'm telling you things so that when the new thing comes, you'll know what's happening. And yet with the resurrection, they're still like dumbfounded. Well, with death resurrection for Jesus, they're still dumbfounded that these things have happened, even though he's told them. Waiting can be difficult. Planning can be futile. They don't know exactly when the day or the hour is going to come. But part of what is important about our Christian um, beliefs, um, the biblical witness, our story, is that we need to tell the story so that we know when things happen that we can believe. So we tell it before it, we are in the scriptures, we are getting that in our conscious, in our hearts, in our bodies, in our memories, in our collective narratives, so that when things happen, it is there for us to draw upon. It is there for us to go to, to give to somebody else to um, receive from somebody else. Because usually, even though it's just like, so that when it happens, you believe. And yet <laughs> the disciples even struggled and we as well struggle, which is why we need preachers in liminal seasons that we want to stand outside of our story and we want to um, pray for this liminal time to end, for everything to be clear. The only way through it is through it. The transformation happens. We are put to death in our old self and given new life in Christ Jesus. And when it happens, we will feel unknown, even though we've been told about it. But the good news is, is this story is ours. And God has given us this story, this gospel and then we'll apply it to us throughout our lives when we need it. And that, because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Christ is that for us. And the Holy Spirit will advocate for us, will guide us through there. And we might rejoice because as great as Christ is, the triune God is a fullness that we have because of Christ. So let us rise and be on our way in this liminal time crossing a threshold after threshold. And there's still more, aren't there? And when things occur, because they will, when death occurs, when new life occurs, when we are waiting in the middle for something to occur, God has already gone there. And God already knows the way forward. And he will meet you just where you are to guide you into the next place forward. And we can be equipped with this word to share with one another that, remember what God said? Remember, remember how much God loves you. Remember on the night in which he was betrayed. Remember our inheritance. Remember, God is here. Thanks be to God. 
Amen.